What's up, guys? It's RCR, and we've got another first round March Madness preview to talk about today. Texas Tech versus North Carolina State. The 23 and 10 Red Raiders are going to take on the Wolfpack, who come in at 22 and 14 in Pittsburgh Thursday night at 9 40. It's the late night game. A Texas Tech team which has a lot, a lot of good opponents on their resume, led by Pop Isaacs, Joe Toussaint, and Chase McMillan. They're a strong offensive team, and they've played some good teams this year. They obviously lost to Houston twice. We're never able to get over the hump against them. But they beat Baylor. They split with Baylor, actually, this year. They beat Kansas. They beat BYU twice. They did drop to the Iowa State Cyclones. But they've got some good wins on their resume. Like I said, led, led by Pop Isaacs, he's averaging almost 16 on the year. And then Joe Toussaint as well, averaging 12 on the year. They're going to be taking on an NC State team that just won five games in five days to win the ACC tournament. They took down five national champions since 2000. Now, obviously, not all those teams are good right now, but they took down Louisville in game number one of the ACC tournament. Then they took down Syracuse, then Duke, then Virginia, and then they took down the North Carolina Tar Heels in the ACC championship. They're hot right now, and it's something I did not see coming. This team had no chance of making the tournament without their 5-5 five and five run. The only team to do that in the past is UConn. UConn did it in 2011. If anyone remembers that run, they ended up making it 11 straight wins as they won six in the tournament and won it all with Kemba Walker. This NC State team is led by the two DJs. They got the big boy down low, DJ Burns. He's averaging 12-4 and four his second year at NC State. He's a big, big dude. I mean, just look at him in the picture. This dude is a tank. He's got touch. He can pass the ball. He just had almost 20 and 10, 10 assists, not even rebounds, 10 assists in that ACC championship game. And then DJ Horn, who was the guy that ended up winning that game for NC State. He put up 25 plus against North Carolina. He averages 17 on the year. And when he gets hot, he is hot. And they're hot right now. This is a scary team. They obviously took down Duke and UNC. They also beat Clemson earlier this year. But other than that, they don't have a lot of great wins on the resume. They only lost by nine at Tennessee earlier in the year. But they started out the year hot. They were 11-3, but then they lost a lot of games in midseason. They lost actually 11 of their next 17 games. But throw in Casey Morsell as well, who was kind of experienced some cramping late in that UNC game. But he's another veteran on this team. This is their first. This is they're, they're, or they're looking for their first win in the tournament since 2015. A Texas Tech team. They went to the Final Four back in 2019. Obviously, new coach, new squad. But it'll be interesting. These are two pretty veteran teams. It's going to be hard to pick one. Um, they both score about 76 points per game. Texas Tech has the better defense. Texas Tech has also played much better opponents. And here's where I'm at with these Cinderella runs to get into the tournament. When I look at a team like Oregon, who also did it, I see that they were supposed to be good this year. They have the talent. They're finally clicking at the right time. This NC State team wasn't supposed to be great this year. They're supposed to be mid-pack. They clearly were mid-pack, and then they got hot at the end. But they had to win five games in five days. Oregon just had to win three games. So I feel like NC State at this point has kind of run out of their magic. They are gassed. I think whoever wins this game loses to Kentucky in the next round. Point blank period. And I think the team that wins this game is Texas Tech. I don't think NC State has the firepower. I don't think they can keep their hot streak going. I think they're too gassed. I just don't think they have enough talent to get by an NC St- or a Texas Tech team. I think if they do, like I said, they're going to lose in the next round. I think Texas Tech loses in the next round anyway. But give me Texas Tech to take down NC State, take down the two DJs, and move on to the next round.